Pay-per-view, Wikipedia article audio. Pay-per-view is a type of pay television service by which a subscriber of a television service provider can purchase events to view via private telecast. The broadcaster shows the event at the same time to everyone ordering it. Events can be purchased using an on-screen guide, an automated telephone system, or through a live customer service representative. Events often include feature films, sporting events, and other entertainment programs. With the rise of the Internet, the term Internet pay-per-view has been used to describe pay-per-view services accessed online. PPV is most commonly used to distribute combat sports events, such as boxing, mixed martial arts, and sports entertainment such as professional wrestling. North America United States HBO PPV Boxing UFC Professional Wrestling Other Events Canada South America Argentina Brazil Chile Paraguay Uruguay, Europe, Romania, Albania, United Kingdom and Ireland, France, Croatia, Australia and the Pacific Islands, Asia, Malaysia, Japan, India. The Zenith Phone Vision system became the first pay-per-view system to be tested in the United States. Developed in 1951, it used telephone lines to take and receive orders, as well as to descramble a television broadcast signal. The field tests conducted for Phone Vision lasted for 90 days and were tested in Chicago, Illinois. The system used IBM punch cards to descramble a signal broadcast during the broadcast station's off time. Both systems showed promise, but the Federal Communications Commission denied them the permits to operate. One of the earliest pay-per-view systems on cable television, the optical systems developed Channel 100, first began service in 1972 in San Diego. California through Mission Cable and Theater Vision, which operated out of Sarasota, Florida. These early systems quickly went out of business, as the cable industry adopted satellite technology and as flat-rate pay television services such as home box office became popular. Boxing was first introduced to pay-per-view with the Thrilla in Manila fight between Muhammad Ali and Joe Frazier in September 1975, there was also another major title fight aired on pay-per-view in 1980, when Roberto Duran defeated Sugar Ray Leonard. Cable companies offered the match for $10, and about 155,000 customers paid to watch the fight. A major pay-per-view event occurred on September 16, 1981, when Sugar Ray Leonard fought Thomas Hitman Hearns for the World Welterweight Championship. Viacom Cablevision in Nashville, Tennessee the first system to offer the event saw over 50% of its subscriber base purchase the fight. Leonard visited Nashville to promote the fight and the event proved such a success that Viacom themed its annual report for that year around it. Viacom marketing director Pat Thompson put together the fight, and subsequently put together additional PPV fights, wrestling matches, and even a televised Broadway play. After leaving Viacom, Thompson became head of Sports View and produced the first pay-per-view football game on October 16. 1983, a college football game between the University of Tennessee and the University of Alabama from Birmingham, Alabama. Sports View played a role in building pay-per-view networks, 
and became the early pioneer in developing Tiger Vision for Louisiana State University, Tide Vision for Alabama and UT Vol Seat for Tennessee. Sports View also produced the Ohio State, Michigan football game for pay-per-view in November 1983. In 1985, the first pay-per-view cable channels in the United States Viewer's Choice, Cable Video Store, First Choice and Request TV began operation within days of each other. Viewer's Choice serviced both home satellite dish and cable customers, while Request TV, though broadcasting to cable viewers, would not become available to satellite subscribers until the 1990s. First Choice PPV was available on Rogers Cable Systems in the United States and Canada. After Paragon Cable acquired the Rogers Cable Systems franchise in San Antonio, Texas, First Choice continued to be carried until Time Warner Cable bought Paragon in 1996. In the United States, pay-per-view broadcasters transmit without advertisements, similar to conventional flat-rate pay television services. The term pay-per-view did not come into general use until the late 1980s when companies such as Viewer's Choice, HBO, and Showtime started using the system to show movies and some of their productions. Viewer's Choice carried movies, concerts, and other events, with live sporting events such as WrestleMania being the most predominant programming. Prices ranged from $3.99 to $49.99, while HBO and Showtime, with their event production legs TVKO and set pay-per-view, would offer championship boxing matches ranging from $14.99 to $54.99. ESPN later began to televise college football and basketball games on pay-per-view through its services ESPN Gameplan and ESPN Full Court, which were eventually sold as full-time out-of-market sports packages. The boxing undercard Latin Fury shown on June 28, 2003, became ESPN's first boxing card on pay-per-view and also the first pay-per-view boxing card held in Puerto Rico. Pay-per-view has provided a revenue stream for professional wrestling circuits such as WWE, Total Non-Stop Action Wrestling, Ring of Honor and Lucha Libre AAA Worldwide. WWE Chairman and Chief Executive Officer Vince McMahon is considered by many as one of the icons of pay-per-view promotion. McMahon owns the domain name pay-per-view.com, which redirects to the WWE Network website. In 2006, HBO generated 3.7 million pay-per-view buys with $177 million in gross sales. The only year with more buys previously, 1999, had a total of 4 million. The former record fell in 2007 when HBO sold 4.8 million PPV buys with $255 million in sales. In 2014, HBO generated 59.3 million buys and $3.1 billion in revenue since its 1991 debut with Evander Holyfield George Foreman. 1999 differed radically from 2006, 1999 saw four major fight cards, De La Hoya Trinidad, Holyfield Lewis I, Holyfield Lewis II and De La Hoya Cardi. By contrast, only one pay-per-view mega-fight took place in 2006, De La Hoya Mayorga. Raman Maskov bombed with under 50,000. The other eight PPV cards that year all fell in the 325,000450,000 range. Pay-per-view fights in that range almost always generate more money for the promoter and fighters than HBO wants to pay for an HBO World Championship boxing license fee.
In May 2007, the super welterweight boxing match between Oscar de la Hoya vs. Floyd Mayweather Jr. on HBO PPV became the biggest selling non-heavyweight title fight, with a little more than 2.5 million buyers. The fight itself generated roughly $134.4 million in domestic PPV revenue, making it the most lucrative prize fight of all time at that time. The record stood until 2015 before it was broken by Floyd Mayweather, Jr. vs. Manny Pacquiao in a fight dubbed as the Fight of the Century on May 2, 2015 which generated 4.6 million PPV buys and a revenue of over $400 million. The leading PPV attraction, Floyd Mayweather Jr. has generated approximately 19.5 million buys and $1.3 billion in revenue. Manny Pacquiao, ranked second, has generated approximately 19.2 million buys and $1.2 billion in revenue. Oscar de la Hoya, has sold approximately 14 million units in total giving $700 million in domestic television receipts and stands third. In fourth place in buys, Evander Holyfield has achieved 12.6 million units, and at fifth, Mike Tyson has reached 12.4 million units. Ross Greenberg, then president of HBO Sports, called the expansion of pay-per-view the biggest economic issue in boxing stating I can't tell you that pay-per-view helps the sport because it doesn't. It hurts the sport because it narrows our audience, but it's a fact of life. Every time we try to make an HBO World Championship boxing fight, we're up against mythical pay-per-view numbers. HBO doesn't make a lot of money from pay-per-view. There's usually a cap on what we can make. But the promoters and fighters insist on pay-per-view because that's where their greatest profits lie. It's a big problem, Greenberg continues. It's getting harder and harder to put fighters like Manny Pacquiao on HBO World Championship Boxing. If Floyd Mayweather beats Oscar, he might never fight on HBO World Championship Boxing again. But if HBO stopped doing pay-per-view, the promoters would simply do it on their own or find someone else who will do it for them. Former HBO Sports President Seth Abraham concurs, saying, I think, if Lou and I were still at HBO, we'd be in the same pickle as far as the exodus of fights to pay-per-view is concerned. Select HBO, Showtime, and top-ranked PPV boxing buy rates between 1988 and 2017. Ultimate Fighting Championship, a relative newcomer on the pay-per-view scene, matched the once-dominant World Wrestling Entertainment Incorporated in pay-per-view revenues during 2006 and surpassed boxing titan HBO. The three companies make up the bulk of the pay-per-view business. According to Deanna Myers, a senior analyst at Kagan Research LLC, UFC has reinvigorated the pay-per-view category. The highest buy rates for the UFC as of February 2017 are as follows. Source Note the UFC does not release official PPV statistics, and the following PPV numbers are as reported by industry insiders. Professional wrestling has a long history of running pay-per-view events. WWE launched its first pay-per-view event in 1985 with the Wrestling Classic and has run numerous others throughout the years. Other major organizations such as WCW, ECW, and TNA have also run pay-per-view events. The highest buy rates for professional wrestling events as of June 2015 are as follows. In 2015, with the Fare Thee Well, 
celebrating 50 years of the Grateful Dead the pay-per-view set a new record for a music event with more than 400,000 subscriptions, surpassing a 1999 simulcast by the Backstreet Boys which drew 160,000 subscriptions. In Canada, most specialty television providers provide pay-per-view programming through one or more services. In all cases, prices typically range from around 4 cordobas and 99 centavos up to $50 or more for special events. Initially, there were three major PPV providers in Canada. Viewers Choice Canada operated in Eastern Canada as a joint venture of Astral Media, Rogers Communications, and TSN, while Western International Communications operated a separate service also branded as Viewers Choice, which used the brand under license after previously operating as home theatre. Viewers Choice Canada was a partner in a French language PPV service known as Canal Indigo which is now entirely owned by Videotron. Bell Canada also launched a PPV service for its Express VU television provider known as VU. In 1999, Home Theatre was later acquired by Shaw Communications, after gaining permission to operate nationally, it rebranded as a white-label PPV known internally as Shaw PPV in December 2007. In 2014, due to Bell Media's majority ownership of viewers' choice because of its acquisition of Astral, and because both Bell and Rogers now ran their own in-house PPV operations, viewers' choice was shut down. Per nations with pay-per-view or PPV system in South America Torneos y Competencias is a producer and sports events organization that broadcasts live main matches of Argentine soccer in four categories on Tyke Sports and Tyke Max. In the soccer main matches of Serie A and Serie B in two categories of Brazilian soccer are broadcast live on Premier FC and Sport TV. The Serie C Championship are broadcast live on Sport TV with two games per match day in Pay TV. In other sports are broadcast live on NBB TV. In Chile the exclusive rights of Chilean soccer are owned by TV Football and broadcast live on a channel called Canal del Football, also known CDF. Sports Field SA has exclusive rights to games on the Chilean Professional Basketball League, which are broadcast live via CDO. The Teledeportes business have exclusive rights to broadcast live main matches of Paraguayan soccer in four categories via Tigo Max and Tigo Sports. Teledeportes have live broadcast live of Paraguayan Basketball League is broadcast live Monday at 7.55 p.m. on Tigo Max and Thursday at 8 p.m. on Tigo Sports. The Tenfield Producer Business and Sports Events Organization have television exclusive rights for the main matches of Uruguayan soccer and basketball, which are broadcast on VTV Max and VTV Sports. Cable communications operator UPC Romania has notified the National Audiovisual Council on the intention to introduce in January, February 2014 at the latest an on-demand audio-visual media service called Agar Press. According to the manager of UPC Romania-owned Smarandu Radoi UPC, will allow customers to watch movies on demand or live events, as well as broadcasts of performances, concerts, and sporting events. In November 2008, Pay-per-view made its debut in Albania through digital on terrestrial and satellite television, with the channel DG Gold. Viewers in the United Kingdom and Ireland can access pay-per-view via satellite, cable, and over-the-internet television services, mainly for films with services such as Skybox Office.
Broadcasters have largely abandoned their aspirations to introduce PPV into the sports market due to poor take-up. As of 2009 it carries only occasional boxing matches in all of the WWE pay-per-view events. In February 2014, WWE launched their subscription-based video streaming service, the WWE Network, which was launched in the UK and Ireland on January 13, 2015. This would have a considerable impact on pay-per-view services in the UK. Launched in the late 1990s, Kana LSAT and TPS operate their own pay-per-view service. While Kana LSAT holds the rights to live soccer matches for France's Ligue 1, TPS had the rights for box matches. In 2007, Multivision service ceased by the end of TPS service which merged with Kana LSAT. Nowadays, Cine and is the only existing pay-per-view service in France. Fight Channel is broadcasting martial arts events organized by the world's most prominent fighting organizations, such as the UFC, K1, HBO Boxing, Dream, Glory WS. World Series of Boxing etc. and its pay-per-view service covers the Balkans region. Foxtel and Optus Vision introduced pay-per-view direct to home television in Australia in the mid to late 1990s. Foxtel had event TV while, Optus Vision had main attraction pay-per-view as its provider. As of 2005, Main event is the current pay-per-view provider through Foxtel and Optus Cable-slash-satellite subscription. Sky Pacific started a service in Fiji in 2005 and then expanded into American Samoa, Cook Islands, Fiji, Kiribati, Nauru, New Caledonia, Niu, Papua New Guinea, Samoa, Solomon Islands, Tonga, and Vanuatu, with one out of their 25 channels, being pay-per-view. Netflix is available in Australia. In Malaysia, Astro S Astro Box Office Service launched in 2000 in the form of the free-to-air Astro Showcase. Sky Perfect subscribers can receive one-click pay-per-view access to hundreds of channels supplying domestic and international sporting events, movies, and specialty programming, either live or later on continuous repeat on its channel. In India a pay-per-view service operates, however, pay-per-view sports broadcasts are not available.